So I now want to have a rant um, about Harrogate Borough Council. Uh, you probably know that me and Harrogate Borough Council do not get on. Um, we haven't got on for uh, about two weeks. Um, the first problem I have with them, you probably know if you've watched my other video, um, I was interested in moving onto the property ladder. Haven't got the funds to buy, but I have got the funds to part buy, part rent with a housing uh, association um, at the same level of outgoing um, that I'm on now. And that at the moment qualifies me for um, around about £100 worth of benefits per calendar month. Um, it's not going to happen because uh, if I move into a situation like that where half the payment, even though it's the same amount, is going on a mortgage, they said I would be lucky if they honoured any uh, amount of um, a housing benefit. And of course without that extra £100 per month, I can't do it, so I'm stuck in rent forever. Um, now I want to move on to Harrogate Borough Council and their um, funding of the gym, which I go to. I go to the Hydro. I first uh, went to the Hydro in, um, where are we? The 16th of March 2006. I was on the concession um, uh, membership and I paid £24 per month. Uh, which is a good good go uh, for use of their gym and their swimming pool at any time. They wrote to me uh, 12th of March 2007 to say it was going up to £26 per month. They wrote to me in the 17th of March 2008 to say it was going up to £27.50. And then uh, later on that month, in fact, uh, they wrote to me to tell me that uh, the Brewer's concession membership type was discontinued three years ago. So it was discontinued before I started, then, was it? Um, and basically, that I'd have to um, go up, I'd have to join another, another um, a different uh, scheme, which would cost more, so I told them where to go. Cancelled. A little while later, I went back to them, on a GP referral scheme because it was the only way I could really afford uh, to go to the gym and of course I qualify um, for that scheme uh, with my history of depression and uh, being overweight. So I did. Um, it was £29 per month. Uh, I was able to pay by direct debit and uh, it entitled me to, again, the use of the gym and use of the pool whenever. Um, the price of that went up to £30 a month uh, in April this year, which is fine. In July this year, they wrote to me telling me the following. As a way of showing our gratitude for your loyalty, we have taken the decision to put a price freeze on your membership. As long as you remain a Brimham's Fitness Centre member or a swimming pool member, we will guarantee your membership fee will not increase ever again. However, if you decide to cancel and then rejoin, you'll rejoin at the increased rate. Terms and conditions apply, but they haven't actually given me what those are. Um, and then it goes on about guest passes, and we hope you're satisfied with the facilities. Blah, 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 blah. Mind you, I had a letter today, um, November 2010, telling me, uh, oh, we're, we're currently carrying out administration checks, and um, the GP referral system was a, a short-term membership for 12 weeks. What are you still doing on it, basically? Um, and, um, you know, we, we'd like to say that we're going to discontinue that. It should never have happened. Um, so I phoned up, and of course they say, if you want to carry on, um, the, the lowest possible uh, membership I'm entitled for being in employment um, is £45 per month, um, which is a, a, an increase of £15. So I phoned up and said, excuse me, but you sent me this letter saying it's, a, you know, um, a guaranteed membership. Uh, and that the price will never change. Oh, she said, I'm sorry. And um, that's because basically I paid by direct debit on a GP referral system, which apparently should never have happened. I was told I could go on, uh, on using that um, same price after 12 weeks, which again should never have happened. And then they should never have sent me the letter. So basically it's void. Now she tells me that in the, um, uh, in the terms and conditions there's a, a clause that says they can... Uh, revoke it at any time, which of course 
means that the whole point of it is absolute bollocks, isn't it? Because if you, if they ever decide they want to increase your membership, they just activate the cause. So what's the point in sending something like that? Now in retail, if we make a mistake and the price changes between somebody buying it, um, uh, picking it up and buying it at the till, we have to give it to them at the lowest amount. We have to give it to them at what it was said. That was their mistake sending the, uh, that letter out, but as far as I'm concerned, the mistake was done. They have to deal with it. It is not my problem. But, um, you know, that's Harrogate Borough Council for you. And people wonder why I hate living here.